You're listening to an unconventional finance interview with your host Elijah Johnson. Find us on the web at unconventionalfin.com. Hey everyone, with us today is Bill Murphy from the Gold Antitrust Action Committee. Gata.org. Bill Murphy, thanks for joining us. Great to be here, Elijah. Thank you. So the last time we talked to you, you were saying big moves were coming in the prices of precious metals and especially silver. And we've seen about a 30% rise in silver. So you were right. And where do we go from here? Well, it's a pretty exciting time. Uh, some of your followers may know I'm expecting a JP Morgan silver market manipulation scandal to break soon. Uh, it's going to be a big deal. Think of something uh, in terms of impact like the LIBOR scandal. Uh, the silver market itself is very tight. If you want to buy silver in size, it takes weeks. It's in some cases months to get the silver. There's concerns about you can even get it. I'll be very surprised if we don't take off for 50 to $60 fairly soon. Well, we've already started really, but then uh, uh, it won't be long till silver's at 100 and then it'll probably have to rest for sometime. So right now, why do you think gold and silver are moving higher so dramatically? Well, both precious metals are artificially cheap thanks to the gold cartel. I mean, they were, they've been suppressed uh, for many, many months and they both build powerful technical bases. Uh, there's massive buying of, of physical gold and silver by big players, not necessarily the little guy, but you know, countries, you've been reports about China and Russia and, and Iran and, and Mexico. Uh, it's huge. And this is a huge contrast from uh, three and four years ago when gold was still going up, silver too, when the European central banks were selling four and five ton, hundred tons a year. That's gone. Now all these central banks are buying. Um, and the gold cartel is, is running out of physical supply at certain price levels to keep, keep the markets down. And now you've seen these violent moves on the upside of late. And that's because of the latent power built up in, in both precious metals markets. So this being an election year, what makes you think that the precious metal manipulators won't make gold and silver crash to make the dollar look strong? Well, the gold cartel can do anything. But if I'm correct, they're starting to hit the wall with all this demand. The big players, not just countries, but big investors can see what's going on. Europe's, what's it changed? The United States deficit problem is awful. It's all to me all about printing money. And it's coming at a time when supplies are tight, especially regarding silver. And if this Morgan scandal breaks, I mean, they're short something like three times the amount of deliverable supply on the COMEX alone. That does not include what they're short on in London and short in the over-the-counter market. There's no telling what silver could do uh, on the upside in terms of uh, sort of a mini squeeze. So do you think we could possibly be coming to the end of the precious metal manipulation? I doubt it. They'll go on uh, till they're carried out. But what I what we are going into is the next stage of their retreat, which is liable to be uh, quite a big one. I mean, they, they can only defend gold and silver at certain price areas for a certain amount of time. And then they have to retreat like gold. They've done 12 years in a row. That's going to go on and on. You were saying earlier that gold and silver will basically continue to skyrocket and silver will end up breaking through 50 and then $100 an ounce. What is your opinion on how precious metal mining stocks will be affected with these moves in gold and silver? Well, as you know, probably know as well as anyone else, the, the dichotomy between gold and silver and the shares over the past years has almost been historic. I mean, the gold, silver shares, they're just giving them away. And uh, some of the ones that I followed, I mean, back to where they were 10 and 12 years ago. It's all about a psyche of a trade, whether it's the gold cartel, hedge funds. They've been short against, uh, against other uh, investment vehicles. This is going to change dramatically. As bad as the gold and silver shares have been on the downside, they will be that much better on the upside, rivaling the internet mania. They'll go on for years. They don't get overdone like everything else, but they are so undervalued now and such incredible steals in terms of uh, investment plays. And, of course, uh, it's like crying wolf a little bit for someone like myself. I could never have managed, imagined uh, them doing as poorly as they have 
with what gold and silver have done. But that's the case. And uh, the question is where it goes from here. And I think I've tried to make that very clear. I think it's going to be spectacular. So from where the gold and silver prices are right now and where the mining stock prices are right now, do you think the mining shares will outperform in the long run? I would think by a sust substantial margin, especially some of the intermediate gold and silver stocks and the, some of the quality exploration stocks, you're looking at 10 and 20 baggers here. So through the end of the year, as gold and silver race higher, where do you see the general stock market going? Uh, you'll have to talk to much uh, smarter people than me on that one. I think, I think I know what I'm talking about, gold and silver. When it comes to the market, I mean, who knows? I mean, it's uh, if they uh, push the inflation buttons like we think, I mean, the markets can go up at the same time. Uh, things are, are pretty bad behind the scenes and nothing's being done to correct the ill. So I'd rather stick with what I, what I think I know. So how does the dollar as the world reserve currency play in with gold and silver skyrocketing? Do you think the dollar will lose its world reserve currency status? Well, no reason it should really. I mean, you know, that, that the gold cartel has tried to prevent gold from doing what it should do because of something like that. But I don't think so. The, but the real key is, you know, the Europe, uh, everyone knows their problems and they're addressing them. I don't know, really know what they're actually accomplishing, but the United States, we haven't even begun to address our problems and we can't even stop the rate of the increase in our deficits. So what the dollar could do, who knows, but uh, it's going to be very exciting times coming up. And uh, I think the place to be will be gold, silver and in the, sh and in the shares. I definitely agree with you. And I wanted to touch on you address the problems of the U.S. deficit. Do you think they're going to just keep printing money to try to solve our problems? And if so, how will this inflation have an effect on the average person? Well, I think the, the only way out is really to print money. I mean, you're seeing a lot of costs go up all over the place. I just noticed in the paper uh, yesterday that homeowners insurance in Texas is going up uh, 20 percent. I mean, and we know what food costs have done and energy costs. And the average person is getting squeezed, especially senior people. I mean, there's the, you can't make any interest income these days. And that's just going to get worse and worse. I think the standard of living is going to have to go down about 35% in America before things can get fixed. We just can't afford with, you know, what, what we think we deserve and have, and it's going on. And it's, it's the crisis is really going to hit within the next year, I would believe. Yeah, I mean, many people are saying that, you know, we're going to have a crisis really soon. And some people are even saying before the end of the year. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But so, Bill Murphy, before we leave you, why don't you tell the viewers where they can find out more? Well, uh, people can go to gata.org and my colleague Chris Powell does a great job. And then I have a website, lemetropolecafe.com, where people can sign up for a two-week free trial and see if that's of interest. And uh, I know one thing, it's going to be a very exciting time uh, this fall, and it's time to uh, get a handle on what's going on. So any final words before we leave you? Yeah, I just can't wait for this J.P. Morgan silver scandal to break and get it out in the open. Now, we've been dealing with this for 10, 13 years, and it's about time people know what's really going on. Definitely. And Bill Murphy from the Gold Antitrust Action Committee, thanks for coming back on the show. Thank you, Elijah. For more interviews and financial insight, go to unconventionalfin.com.